I don't really know what to do. There's a lot of great things in my life right now. There's a lot of things to look forward to. There's a lot of opportunities. There's a lot of growth. There's a lot of positive change. I have solid relationships. I have loving relationships. I'm not alone. People have been incredibly generous to me, especially lately. They've been incredibly kind. But I'm, I'm struggling because there's something I've been trying to figure out. There's a, a book that I read called The Dispossessed by Ursula K. Le Guin. I love that story because of the way in which it captures this physicist and his struggle for the truth, for pure physics, for pure math, for pure ideas, pure science. And I, I love the phrase cut through. And there's a lot of reasons why. It could easily make an interesting poem, I feel like. It could be, I could totally build the rhythm and the structure and the approach around just that phrase alone. And it'd be perfect for my poetic style. But there's also another, I might even just do it, by the way, just for fun, just to see. But there's another approach to it, which is the, a philosophical approach. This kind of idea of cutting through the noise, of trying to figure out what the truth is. And I mentioned the dispossessed because this character is empty-handed. He just is in the search for pure abstraction, for pure truth, pure science. He doesn't want to limit it. But it's really interesting because without giving too much away in the story, this book I recommend for sure, The Dispossessed by Ursula K. Le Guin. Lovely, wonderful book, which I didn't even know I was going to like so much, but it really appealed to me. He just wants the truth. And yet he's constantly bombarded by barriers, many of which are actually social, but there's other barriers too. The limits of the intellect, the limits of knowledge. And so when I think of the phrase cut through or cutting through, it's kind of this whole element of how do you get through the noise? I'm struggling right now because like, that's why music always appealed to me because it'd be like cut through. The, the, the tones cut through something I couldn't explain, cutting through my heart, so to speak. Hopefully cutting through the hearts of others, people who enjoyed it, which is actually why I like metal, even with all of the aesthetic flaws and the cultural flaws. But I started playing it and thinking about how the, the notes and the chords just cut through those sounds, the pure sonic quality. It's one reason why I like Meshuga so much. But I'm really struggling because I want to cut through, but I don't know what that means. In my world, in the art world, it's usually not a good thing to cut through. For the reason you could use the physicist as an example, he's constantly bombarded, he's blocked, he's blockaded. He's constantly struggling with barriers and with things that are slowing him down or even stopping him. And in, in the art world, it gets really sad because like everything is just seen as this subjective thing. So your work doesn't matter because I don't like you. Your work doesn't matter because you use stupid words. And it, it's super fascinating to me because what I can't figure out is why we limit ourselves to our beliefs and why it's so hard to get to that pure truth. And I try to do that with my poetry through emotion. I try to do it through my music, through uh, the sound qualities, like I said, trying to find the right chords and notes and, and the feeling of the, the music. Whatever analogy you use, I want to do that, but I realized it's really hard to do that if you can do it at all. And it is because of these limitations. But I've realized that I want to cut through anyway. Maybe I won't be able to do it. As I would like to say and express something I think that is sad, like I was saying, is that, you know, the, uh, in the art world, it's all subjective. And so you end up in this world where like, just don't, don't like you, so screw you, right? And you can't cut through because it's often seen as this like narcissism or glorification. But it's so interesting because this character, Shavek in The Dispossessed, is a character who is really just on this like passionate search. And everybody always thinks that he's an egoist or that he's egotistical or only cares about the ego. And it's really interesting that intellectual freedom and intellectual thought comes at that cost of making it seem like it's just a limited thing, that you are selfish for wanting to have the pure intellect. And I think it's actually the opposite. None of us are pure. None of us can be purists. None of us can do the things that are completely without any kind of underlying belief structure or expectation or bias. But I look at it because I'm not sure that I believe the things that I've seen in the art world. I think it goes deeper. I think there's an element to where I think we're actually afraid of the truth and so we do the opposite. And to use Oscar Wilde, even though he probably didn't mean it this way, it's basically a situation where you could just lie your way through your work. You could just lie, but it's aesthetic beauty. So the truth doesn't matter. It's the same with the postmodern belief, which is why philosophers and, and 
writers might be really harsh on postmodernism, even though postmodernism has influenced me probably more than any other movement due to my education. But I mention it because I want to cut through. And I don't know how to do that. It might be possible to where it might just be impossible. I'll never be able to actually do that. But if the belief is you're egotistical for trying to do these things, I have to be like, maybe not. Maybe there's actually something else I'm expressing that there's a lot of resistance to. And that's what I find interesting. When I look at the aesthetics of this, it's an ugly video. You know, it's kind of, it's, it's not going to be the most beautiful thing in the world, but man, is it passionate. And even passion is often criticized. But my point is, this is a beautiful thing that I wish we could do more of. And art is supposed to not do the Oscar Wilde thing. It's supposed to capture the truth like in physics. And of course, I can see all the limitations and arguments against it. But my point is, I want to cut through. I am cutting through. And I think about it from the perspective of, yeah, my life's going to suck the way that it did for Shavek. I've got so many social and societal pressures pushing against me right now that I'm not even sure some of them from institutions, maybe it is all society too, by the way, even with all of the physical things that constantly derail us. But it's a situation where I look at it as like, I feel like this is a pure thing that I'm trying to express. It may not be the purest thing, but I think it's important. And that's where the passion is. That's where the beauty is. And I know people will disagree with me. They'll think that what I'm doing is shallow. They'll think that it's not interesting. They just won't care. But I believe that there's something about the intention as my being that still matters, even if, as we know, it is the perception that's more important than the intention. Consequentialists think the consequence is more important. So there's tons of arguments. But my point is, I want to cut through the way that Shavek did. I don't know that it's possible to do it. In fact, my life's going to continue to get bombarded with things. And this isn't some kind of like, what could you call it? Like a, um, a martyrdom. Cause I actually don't really see that as being helpful, but there's also a piece in which I've sacrificed a lot and I will keep sacrificing. And that's part of what keeps me intrigued. And that's what I wanted to focus on. I wrote an essay about the dispossessed and kind of this theme of Shavek. And it just makes me wonder what if there's a way to cut through it anyway, and to develop a paper as in this case a paper with his life's work and his equations. And that's what I think really matters. And I think it's beautiful, even with all of the resistance. I'm Phoenix, just been trying to put this together, trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. I hope that you'll check out my videos. I hope you'll check out my books. I absolutely appreciate 100% the support that has been so constant and kind. And I really hope that people can see the hope in which I'm trying to convey. So yeah, I'm Phoenix. Check out my videos, check out my blog. I hope to see you soon.